national policy. Karnataka's position on the national education policy becomes a laughing stock just days after suggesting that Pythagoras' theorem and the story of an apple falling on Isaac Newton's uh, head uh, they were labelled as fake news. A new position paper submitted to the state government on health and well-being has resulted in a controversy. NEP task force head quotes Cora as authentic source says eggs and flavoured milk causes obesity. Says paper on health and well-being. Uh, Harish, I don't know what to say. I mean, uh, you know, we started off by saying that this makes you laugh, but people who are drafting it are clearly serious. Uh, they are serious, and I really mind if you go through the members of this committee. Uh, they are experts. It's not drafted by layman. And one wonders on what really was going on in these committees that uh, this kind of a draft has been submitted to the government. Uh, you have uh, the committee defending this draft saying that a lot of this discussion has happened on Quora and Google. Well, you will find all sorts of discussions on Quora and Google that can't be authentic source to suggest something to the government saying that this is uh, this is something that the children should learn. This is coming in from experts. And uh, some of these aspects, for example, world over now, especially in India, we've had enough research to suggest that giving milk and eggs at Anganamadis and midday meal program has been a huge benefit in terms of uh, increasing uh, the nutritional value in food as well as improving the overall health. And uh, that's the reason you have it part of the program given by the union government through Anganwadis or in several states, also ensuring that eggs reach out to students in states where it's a touchy issue. The government still trying to push eggs in some of the districts or give milk. And when such is the case, you have this committee saying that... Uh, giving of egg and flavoured milk could actually be detrimental to the health of our children. Uh, there will be question marks on what sort of a research that went through for this aspect, especially on uh, not giving eggs or uh, flavoured milk. There could be some bit of argument saying that flavoured milks also have added sugar that could be uh, not good for the health. But uh, largely we've had arguments and research suggesting that eggs, especially given at a very young age, has been beneficial for the health. You, you know, just, just to give you a, an update, if you if you can't figure out what is the source, like Harish was pointing out, discussions on this website called Quora and Google have been cited uh, as authentic uh, to support these claims. For the uninitiated, Quora is a website where anybody can go and share his or her views or experience. It's not really like a scientifically uh, backed research community website. So Harish, uh, this, these papers that have, that have been submitted, uh, officially, what is this? This is part of Karnataka's contribution to, to the country's education policy? Well, all states have been asked to uh, submit their position paper on uh, several subjects, 20-odd uh, aspects that the government have been asked to submit their position papers. Uh, this one on egg and milk is from a position paper called Health and Wellbeing. Uh, there are a few others. For example, you mentioned about uh, the Pythagoras theorem. That was also part of a different position paper. But we have seen at least three or four of these papers now coming under the scanner for uh, uh, the abysmal research that has happened and a lot of uh, a, a lot of information that one can say has been just uh, drawn from places like Quora, and which is obvious now uh, with the head of the NEP himself saying that uh, that is something that they've already seen discussions happening on that front. No solid uh, uh, quote, quotation on where exactly they got this from in terms of whether this was a research from an organized, well-known body or whether it was part of any text. But uh, saying that this has been taken from Quora is uh, what makes this whole exercise a laughing stock now. And, and we saw what they said on Pythagoras' theorem as well. Um, do you see any any change, any attempt to... to uh, really control the damage that is being done? Is the Karnataka government in any way stepping in to control the damage? Well, you understand one of these papers has already been submitted to the union government. Uh, the one on health and well-being has been submitted to the state government. Uh, we will have to see if after this controversy, the state government would want to relook at it before it's, uh, this draft is sent to the uh, union government officially as Karnataka's position paper. Uh, we've seen over the last three days several debates on it, many people criticizing it, saying that there's also a subtle push on uh, putting topics which are construed as uh, from Indian history and Indian culture, but not really backed by facts. So the government, which is already under pressure, 
will have to give some sort of a reaction on how it wants to deal uh, with this whole exercise which has now become an embarrassment. You know, if if one had to call, uh, you know, any particular state, okay, before I go back with that question, Nasir Hussain is also here with me. Mr. Hussain, first reaction, we are now being told that eggs lead to obesity, flavoured milk lead to obesity, and the source of all of this is Cora. Uh, the uh, government in Karnataka is continuously becoming a lobby stop. The kind of intervention they are doing in the curriculum, based on their... Uh, or process based on their belief, beliefs. Now, the whole idea of uh, uh, revisiting the textbooks, trying to uh, cut down lots of things that were there earlier, revisiting is something which is uh, not uh, something which is not in tune with the Indian ethos, etc. Et hmm. The problem is there are academicians, there are very learned academicians, there are very uh, uh, very big names in Karnataka, uh, who could have been summoned to do uh, uh, to, to someone to do the revision of the uh, books and curriculum there. Right. I don't know why politics has to get into it. Why politicians have to give their mind for that? Right. And the whole idea, whole idea of going back, going back in our civilization, whole idea of saying that the, our past was golden. See, you will have to be very analytic as to what is scientific, what is modern, uh, and how do we infuse scientific temperament in the students. Right. Now, Mr. Mr. Can I, can I, can I, Mr. Hussain, Mr. Hussain, if you give me a moment, the charge that you're making, can I give Mr. S. Prakash of the BJP a chance to respond? Mr. S. Prakash, this is the future of children of this country we are talking about. A scientific temperament takes a lot of time to inculcate. If you're going to call Pythagoras theorem fake news, if you're going to rubbish the story about Isaac Newton and the apple, and now say, you know, Cora is the official source for saying egg leads to obesity, are we not making our children a laughing stock if they go abroad and compete with the best talents there? No, it is the committee's recommendation to the government. It is not ultimate or it is not the final. It is for the government to accept it or reject it. Several suggestions have been made. One or two may be controversial. The government is seized of the matter and they will take the appropriate decision over it. And I must remind you here, this is the Karnataka government and headed by Mr. Bhumai, who is the first to give, uh, distribute X to the students uh, in all the schools. He did not, uh, he, despite the opposition, government went ahead and they are uh, giving X to the students. So the, such uh, uh, rigid attitude this government does not have. Mr. Prakash, the question is not about whether you are giving eggs or not. The question is, what are the kind of people that you have brought into this committee? What is their scientific temperament, their qualification you, no, to come up with such recommendations? Say, no, how, how can you say whatever you believe is the final? It is their opinion. Are they, don't they have any freedom of expression? But, Mr. Prakash, this is science we are talking about. How does freedom of expression are, come with no, science? What, they are also speaking Vedic science. They are also speaking, you know, you know, from the point of view of health. They have a different point of view. That may not be the uh, uh, truth or that may not be the final decision. It is for the government to take it. They have recommended hundreds of recommendations in this country. Even in the past, several committees have recommended. None of, most of them have not been accepted if it is not implementable or if it is not pragmatic. So similarly, even in this case, one or two decisions may be wrong. The government will look into it. Nasir Hussain? Why should we assume only we are experts and all others are fools? Mr. Nasir Hussain, respond to that. See, I can, I can only say that this government and the ideology of this government is very relative. They live in the past, they believe in the past. They think all, all that happened in the past is very sacred. All that, all that, all that was taught in the past is very sacrosanct. So only that has to be incorporated in the curriculum of these days. They don't understand that the world has traveled from 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 uh, ancient days to modern days. Even Mr. Prakash, well, the kind of medicine we take is something which is there in from the modern era. It's allopathic medicine. We spend so much on research and development. We spend every department in our country and every other country also spend so much on research and uh, development. So much, so many things have been discussed, so many new findings are there. But this government still wants to pay about 4,000, 5,000 years 
that they still want to believe in those things which are not been validated. I know every country has a civilization and uh, there were different uh, uh, experiences that have happened in different parts of the world. Right. Some good things will have to be taken. Mm -hmm. I won't say that we have to discard everything. No, Mr. Hussain, the, the point that he is making is, the point that he is making is that this is just one of the recommendations. Uh, the government may or may not accept it. Why are we trashing the entire committee based on just one or two controversial things? That's his stance. The very fact, the very fact that the recommendation shows the kind of mindset and people that have been brought in in the committee. It also shows the leanings of the uh, leanings of this government. Right. And right. the curriculum in the test books and the revision of test books has become a huge All right. uh, subject of debate for the past several years. Right. As the reserve of the Congress Party. The government. Right. Right. Thank you, sir. I'm, I'm afraid I've run out of time. But Mr. Hussain from the Congress and S. Prakash from the BJP, thank you for joining us. This is, of course, going to generate a lot of uh, back and forth. Uh, you can also share your views. Mr. S. Prakash of the BJP thinks everybody has a right to freedom of expression. Uh, but the counter could be this is a matter of science we are talking about. And this is the education policy that we are talking about. We're taking a break on that note. But there's more on the other side. Stay with us.